Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to take a look at this week's episode of Dream Hangers. So uh, yeah, if you happen to miss any of the other episodes, I'm going to put a link to that playlist in the top right corner of your screen so you can check it out. And uh, right now we have up on the screen the first Dream Hanger coming from Lawrence. So Lawrence is requesting a Scavenger Griffin, a Spectre, Raven, Invader and Mercury. So you can see here in my lineup, we have the Scavenger Griffin. I really actually like this and this is kind of the reason uh, why I decided to go with uh, this Dream Hanger because I haven't run this uh, Scavenger Griffin yet and it looks so cool so I'm going to run that and uh, we have uh, as you can see uh, Pulsar, Marquise. I decided to go Thermo Nuke on here because it is a range build. I don't want to stick in this for too long. We do have Quantum Radar and also the Legendary Pilot. Uh, this is going to allow me to jump uh, more frequently so I have that. And then uh, next up we have the Spectre Storm. This is an all-time favorite of mine. Uh, Last Stand Thermo Nuke, Anti-Control, uh, Phase Shift and the Legendary Pilot as well on here. And this is going to allow me to do a little bit more damage every time I jump. And then uh, next up we have the Raven. And this is actually a favorite of mine right now. I do run it on my own account. Uh, we have Halo Corona. Last and anti control advanced repair unit and my pilot on here as well. I made sure to include a sharpshooter for the Halo and Corona. Uh, that's going to make it extremely deadly. And uh, next up, we have the Invader with uh, Igniter, Blaze, and Halo. Last and heavy armor kit advanced repair. And here are the pilot skills for the Invader. And then lastly, we have the Mercury with the uh, Blaze and Ember. We have a uh, last stand anti control thermo nuke lockdown ammo, which is going to help with these uh, flamethrowers. And uh, here are the pilot skills for the Mercury. Okay, so as always, we are going to run a game, and then in the second half of this video, uh, we are going to choose another dream hanger. And uh, that one's actually going to be a lot of fun to play as well. So, uh, yeah, let's hop into game number one. Okay, so game one, we have dropped in on Canyon Map. And I decided to run with this uh, scavenger griffin here, so we do have some range. Just looking to see what this guy is running. They did not send anyone to the right. I'm gonna see if I can actually lock this guy down here. Uh oh, uh oh. Um, no. Gotta stop him. Come on, yes. <laughs> oh shoot, we didn't get our left side. Let's try to stop this guy. We need to get that left. I should have gone left instead. Oh, I can't get up this hill. Guys, don't let him get that beacon. Oh shoot, not good. I'm trying to deal with this uh, falcon here. And then I'm going to try to see if I can help that left side. We only have one beacon. Oof, this is not good. Okay, I'm just gonna push because we need to. Uh, we need to get a beacon, and if we just sit back here, the game's gonna be over. So I got out of that range as quickly as possible. Uh, we do need to brawl it out and get this uh, left beacon at least. So I'm thinking, you know, use the invader, get that beacon, kind of, uh, you know, suppress all of them. If we can get control of this left side. Uh, then I think we stand a pretty good chance here. We just got to make sure that we get it. So I'm going to suppress all of these guys. Let's take that guy out. Take this guy out. And see, so we can lock this guy. I'm trying to heal before it hits my last stand. My last stand has been hit. But at least we have this beacon, and that's the main thing. So we can try to suppress this guy here quick. Move back inside the circle. There we go. There's a guy over here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get him. Let's try to heal. Yeah, they're bringing another guy here. Oh man, this is not good. Um, let's use the Mercury. Can roast up this invader. Uh, there's also this guy here that I can lock. And maybe lock this guy here too if I can. I think I got him, but... Oh, he went into phase shift. 
You know what though? He has his shield up. That means by the time it drops, I should be able to get him here. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh no, are we going to lose that far right? I hope not. I've been through a lot of bots just trying to save this uh, home beacon here on this side. So I'm going to move towards the center here because they do have quite a few players. Uh, see if we can maybe lock this guy down. I don't think I'm going to get close enough for that uh, hell dive there, but I try to at least do quite a bit of damage to him. I think we're going to lose that beacon now. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Ah! <laughs> Oh jeez, I'm trying to get this guy. Maybe if I lock him a bit, that might help. And this, that's going to help a little bit more. We got to take him out though. Come on. There we go. Ooh, I think this game's going to be close because I'm looking, we have five players here. I'm still trying to get this, but they have a guy on the other side. Trying to lock them down at least. Maybe this guy? Nope. Um, oh, this is going to be a tough. This is getting intense here. We need to get. Um, we actually need to get another beacon fast. So I'm thinking, do a double jump. Maybe I can get inside this guy's bubble. Oh, that was an over jump. But you know what? He's firing now, so he's not going to have his shield. Can we just heal? Come on, take this guy out. We're losing another beacon. Oh man, guys. Oh. You know what's so bad about this is the fact that my next bot is a spec, the storm. So I'm trying to do as much damage as possible, but we just keep on losing beacons here. Holy crap. Okay, it's now down to, I don't know, they have like five players left, four. Just try to take that guy out. Maybe we can take out this blitz too and get this beacon back. Uh oh. I can take out this blitz before I use my phase shift. There we go, we're getting this beacon back. Are they down to three or four? They have four here. Come on, we're gonna take this guy out. Come on! Oh! Phase shift. I'm gonna get that guy. Oh man, this, this game's actually really close. I gotta be careful here, because they keep on dropping in at center. Um, there is this guy here. I'm trying to get this beacon first. Let's get this beacon. I got that beacon. Uh-oh. I have to go into phase ship, because if he were to hell dive and get me, that's going to cost me my uh, last stand here. Try to get this guy. This other guy is down below here. Man, I'm really struggling here because this is a spec the storm I'm using on a large map. Um, they have a couple of players there. Let's see if we can get this guy maybe. My last hand is not triggered, so that's good. Oh shoot! There's a guy on this side. I'm thinking maybe take out these guys here. What is this guy in? Um, man, we're losing our beacon. What's going on on this side? We still got it. We have three beacons, but look at our beacon bot. Not looking good at all. I wonder if I can get this guy. He is pretty close. No, he's jumped. We need to get one more beacon. We have to equalize things here. It's not looking good. I'm going to jump this side. Maybe I can get this guy here. And these guys, oh, he went into Fangs out. That's just really bad timing. Hopefully they don't have another one. Phase shift. I'm just going to get this beacon here first. Holy crap, this is intense. <laughs> I think I'm going to win this, this engagement. Yes. Man, the Spectre Storm. I love it. Is that their last? Look at the beacon bar. No, he has another bot. Oh, no. <laughs> we got to get that beacon quick. I don't want to fire at him, just in case he takes me out here. 
we should be able to just in case he drops in over here we do not have another one look at our beacon bar look at this we have a pixel left compared to theirs man that was that was a crazy game that was a wild game let's just take a look to see how we did uh, in this game that spec the storm man that was insane so we ended up doing 3.1 million 14 kills five beacons uh, this is how we stacked up and uh, let's just take a look at uh, this player here from um, champion league as well running mostly level 8 through to 10 on their bots they are the weapon levels their pilots and the other team uh, this guy here also in champion league and uh, he is running level 10 through to 12 some mk2 stuff pretty leveled up pilots as well and his teammate also in champion league and this guy is running everything almost mk2 uh, a lot of this stuff mk2 not so much the weapons uh, the bots and very leveled up pilots as well okay so that's kind of how we stacked up and before i forget here are the honor points and i don't know if i should really kind of review this i mean there's a couple of things that um this build actually not that bad i tried it for a few games and i was actually doing quite a lot of damage you just got to be careful of hanging in it uh, for too long um spec the storm <laughs> i don't need to say much about this after that that last game there uh, raven i love i think everything here that i'm seeing is pretty strong the only thing that i think i would change and this is more of personal preference is to run an eq shield on the mercury uh, really helps when it uh, comes down to you know playing against Ares and stuff so i think that is really the only thing I would change. Uh, obviously, if you need more firepower, then this is the way to go. But, you know, other than that, a pretty solid hanger. And I just love the Spectre Storm. I really miss playing that. And, uh, yep, so that's going to be, um, you know, that Dream Hanger. Okay, so up on the screen, we have the next Dream Hanger coming from Nguyen. So I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Apologies if I happen to mispronounce it. And, uh, yep, this is their favorite and fun hanger. So we are definitely going to try this out. Uh, they have the Fenrir, Mercury, Behemoth, Spectre, and Phantom. And I'm looking at the Mercury here with Halo, Answer, and Eco. I think we're going to get a lot of good laughs, uh, you know, with that setup. So uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to cook things up here. And then I'm going to show you what I'm running in terms of pilot skills and modules uh, on these bots. Okay, so before we jump into game number two, let's take a closer look at the pilot skills and modules for these bots. So we have the Yandi uh, version of the Corona and the Avenger on this Fenrir. And I also have the uh, Midas skin. So uh, this is what it looks like. Looks actually really cool with the uh, gold color uh, on this bot as well as the Avenger. We have Last Stand Heavy Armor Kit Advanced Repair Unit. And uh, here are the pilot skills. And uh, moving on, we have uh, the Mercury here with Ansel, EQ, uh, Halo, uh, Last and Thermo Nuke, Phase Shift, and here are the pilot skills. And I made sure to include also Knight Errant as well as Energy Shield Expert uh, for the Ansel. And I think we're going to get some pretty good laughs with this uh, bot here because I haven't run this the last time. I think I ran something like this. It was for Funny Builds Friday. So we have that. And then we have the Behemoth uh, with Viper Weapons, Last Stand, Thermonuke, Phase Shift, and here are the Pilot Skills. And I made sure to include also Speed Shooter for the Viper Weapon. And uh, next up we have the Spectre with Vortex. So I decided not to put uh, Last Stand on here. We're just going to go all the way in terms of damage. Three Thermonukes, Phase Shift, and uh, here are the Pilot Skills. And a lot of this you're going to see kind of enhances and even improves or um, you know gives even more damage like the uh, thrill seeker here um, i think i have another one master gunsmith so this thing is going to be very potent <laughs> if we land on like power plant map the other team's not going to like me uh, we have phantom with a uh, scourge spark last stand uh, thermonuke anti-control lockdown ammo and i'm actually running the legendary pilot uh, for the phantom and this uh, according to this at least um it has your phantom's ability last longer 20 percent so we have that and here are the pilot skills okay so uh i guess we're going to jump into game number two and we're going to see you know how we do with this uh, lineup and then um you know at the end i might review things uh, but yeah let's hop into game number two okay so game two we have dropped in on dreadnought map 
and I have decided to start with the uh, Phantom here. I'm uh, keeping an eye on the other side just in case I need to uh, lock them down. I'm going to put a beacon point over here. Let's just lock onto this player. Um, I wonder if I can get him. Yep, we got him. Just going to go into the air. We do have three beacons, so that's a good thing. Looks like we're going up against an HC player on the other side. Uh, where is this guy? I got to keep my eyes on him because he's sort of getting closer to the side here. And... So the other team has three beacons. Where is my teammates? Let's lock down this player. I think... Uh, Yes. Whoa, that was weird. He got him. He must have had quantum radar on his uh, Spectre there. Just trying to weaken some of these players. We do need to get another beacon here, though. Uh, let me just see what I'm going to do. If I can actually get this side beacon here, that's going to be a little bit better for my team, I think. So what I'm going to do is let's do this. I was hoping I could lock that player and then uh, move down this way, but that didn't work. <laughs> I wasn't able to lock quick enough. Let's try to get this uh, beacon here. I'm just going to uh, reload. I do see this player here. He is almost out. We're going to see if we can lock. There we go. Oh man, this side. These guys getting this beacon? Um, let me just see. These guys are going to smoke me on this side here. They're going to attack me on my right flank. But you know what? I need to get out of this bot anyways. Because I don't want to stick in this bot for too long. Um... Come on, come on, come on. I'm on reload. I'm trying to see if I could lock this guy, but I didn't have my weapon loaded. Um, but we actually got that beacon, so that's kind of good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We got to use this thing now. <laughs> this is going to be funny. Oh, shoot. I had to go into a phase shift here. I wonder if I can get him. No. Oh, yes. We got him on lost. Yep, lost end. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where is he? Come on, come on. Yes, yes. We got a kill with this thing. Man, that's ridiculous. Can we get into center with this? Oh, shoot. And they got that beacon. <laughs> uh oh, these guys are going to kill me here. They got. Oh, he has a leech. Oh man. Oh. I'm gonna go into phase shift as well. I'm trying to just distract them here. <laughs> At least we got a kill with it. Okay, um oh, you know what? We gotta do the spectre here. Is there a guy up top there? I think there is. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to hit him. He's pretty he's pretty far away. Uh, oh wait, wait a minute. We need someone to knock his shield down. Uh oh. Oh, that was a good hit. Yes. We might be able to get that beacon. Oh shoot, someone is here. No! Oh! He went into phase shift. Talk about lucky. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes. That was a good hit. 
I wonder, we need to get like another beacon here. I thought this Kumia would actually go for this beacon. I'm going to see if I can cover him here, just in case. Um... Oh shoot, that was close. You know what, I gotta be careful because um, the only thing about this bot, I mean while it's fun to play, one thing you gotta be very careful of is botting out. And you can see my team, it's actually happening right now. So we only have four players here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that guy. I try to... Uh, there we go. This guy's gonna be moving in here. Uh oh. Shoot. He's gonna put his shield up. Nope. I'm just going to phase shift to try to negate that uh, that leech a bit. Oh! Oh! I should have fired singles. And I don't have last hand on here, so that's gonna suck. <laughs> um, maybe. Maybe we can use this. Let's go for that guy. Oh, it's four versus... It's three versus four now. Can I take him out? Yes! Ooh, that's a huge win there. Let's hope he doesn't have another. <laughs> I need to push another beacon here because when I'm running like weird stuff like this, always a good idea to push beacons because I know there's a good chance I'm going to lose. So let's go for this guy. Uh, come on, dude. I got to get here quick. Man, he has another one. Shoot. They all dropped here. Let's go into this mode. Go into that mode just so I can absorb some of that damage a bit. Let's do this. My last end has not triggered, so that's very good. We can get this guy here. Someone else is hitting me. It's one versus two. He might have another one, though. Is he going to drop in here? One versus three. Oh, man. Come on, i got to get this guy. There's uh, that HC play, i got to be careful of him because he's going to drop down here. What is he in? I'm trying to get another beacon here. <laughs> My last. Man. Ah. Oh shoot, there's no ways. Yikes. Okay, we have another one, but um, I'm trying to think. You know what, I'm going to spawn over here. What's really bad about this build is that it's not really exactly a uh, brawler. So I have to keep my distance here. I'm not sure how this is going to go. One versus three, my odds are really bad. They're going to be four capping me. Um, my thinking is try to go to the open areas and try to fight maybe um, my strength if I can. I think that guy's going to get me. What is he in? Yeah, they have a... Uh, that Al Jung's moving that way. There's no ways I'm going to win this. There's absolutely no ways. Ah! Oh shoot, he dropped in another one here. It's just going to phase shift. That kind of cost him in that bot, but I think he has lost stand on it. So I'm going to get hit by two guys now. Three guys. Let's just go for the invader. Let's go for the easy targets, get that damage in at least. Oh! <laughs> that was a close one. Man, that was tough. But you know what? That was a pretty close game. If you take a look at uh, the beacon bar here, 40 seconds left. I'm kind of glad I got at least one kill with that uh, Mercury. That was pretty tough. But uh, let's take a look to see you know, how we did damage-wise uh, in this game. And uh, we actually did, I think, pretty good. So we did uh, 2.7 million, 11 kills, 7 beacons. And uh, let's take a look at my uh, teammate over here, also in Champion League. And uh, this guy is running level 9 to 10 on his bots. And there are the weapon levels and pretty leveled up uh, pilots as well. And uh, let's take a look at the other team. So we have uh, the first place uh, player here from 
HC and uh, this guy is running mostly MK2 he has a leech as well and uh, pretty leveled up pilots and his teammate also in champion league and uh, this guy is running level 6 to 9 on his bots and there are their pilot levels so that was a very exciting game towards the end there I actually didn't think it was going to get uh, you know down to the wire like that but uh, yeah let's take a look at uh, the rewards here so I ended up uh, getting 3000 something uh, honor points so this is my honor points and uh, before I get going, let's just take a look at this lineup. So, uh, yeah, this build's definitely very deadly. Uh, this one is not one that I would use in Champion League for obvious reasons. Um, this uh, behemoth is actually pretty deadly. Um, it's a pity that I got to the point where I had to use it right at the end because I think uh, this kind of build, you want to use more like mid-game, I would say, uh, towards the beginning and mid-game, not the first spot, though, if it's Beacon Rush. Um, then we have the Spectre Vortex, uh, deadly but not a build that I would personally run if you're playing Beacon Rush because most of the times uh, you have to brawl it out and this you kind of sit back. Uh, you got to be careful when you are in the spot for too long. Um, this build for the Phantom, uh, it's not bad but I think I prefer like Halo Corona or like variations of like Halo Corona Storm. Um, also Orc and Panata works really well. Uh, for the phantom so uh, yeah that's pretty much it so to lawrence and nguyen i hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay of your dream hangers and to everyone else if you would like a chance to be featured in a future dream hanger video make sure to post your dream hanger in the comment section down below and as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed consider subscribing until the next video i'll catch you guys later